Hurricane season has been unusually calm so far. Well, until now. Headlines like this were out about two weeks ago, and many people saw them. But now, we have Hurricane Kay in the Eastern Pacific, Hurricane Danielle in the North Pacific, Tropical Storm Earl near the Caribbean, and another tropical system, disturbance number one, developing with a very high percent chance of becoming, well, a tropical storm. So we have four storms just on this side of the Earth. And they all formed around September 3rd. And they all strengthened over the last several days. And it has everything to do with the sun. Now there are some predictions coming out that we're going to share in just a moment that may shock you. They're not our predictions. They're coming from scientific papers that we're going to share. And they suggest that a Carrington-type event is going to occur in just a few weeks. And this will be the peak of tropical season. And that will accentuate tropical storms and specifically drive them landward. Is this something to believe? Well, it's something we're going to test. So we'll all see it happen in real time. Now, we know about space weather impacts on climate, the long-term variability on the sun, the 11-year cycle, the, the total solar polar reversal, the hail cycle, they all affect the climate on Earth. They drive the multi-decadal oscillations in the Pacific and the Atlantic due to solar, total, total solar irradiance. And this, has been, this is observable for hundreds of years. There are other effects of space weather we know about. We know that they charge satellites. We know that space weather events um, can affect a astronaut safety. They, geomagnetic storms cause atmospheric drag on low Earth satellites. It can cause danger to passengers flying at high latitudes, as well as disrupt telecommunications cables, and other forms of satellite and communications, including cellular. But we don't know a lot about how it affects weather. Recent discoveries over the last decade prove that cosmic rays can nucleate clouds at a certain part of our atmosphere. The part of our atmosphere, well, where hurricanes form. And that means bigger hurricanes during solar storms. So we're going to leave you links to all of the information to learn about the sun and its effect on Earth's climate, limited as the information is. There is a statistical link between tropical cyclone intensification and major geomagnetic storms. And this is as early as 2007 here in the paper that we will share below. And a more recent paper shows rapid intensification of tropical cyclones in the context of the solar wind, the magnetosphere, ionosphere, atmosphere coupling. So when we have geomagnetic storm on Earth, it usually coincides with rapid intensification of tropical cyclones, which is bad news, especially if these predictions are to come true. Now, this paper is coming from ResearchGate, where we are also listed, as well as our academic work. But according to this paper, on the 23rd of September, yes, that's just a few days from now, 17 days from now, a solar storm is anticipated to strike the Earth. Now, they came up with this conclusion using a multidisciplinary approach. They're using the Quran as well as science. So this is an interesting approach to a prediction, and I like their approach. But who's to say if there will be a solar storm on the 23rd? Does it match what we see... Uh, in the space weather record, it could be true because we're seeing an uptick from the 8th of September through the 15th, and this may be part of it. But according to this paper, on the 23rd of September, there will be a solar storm similar to the Carrington event. That's a big event. That would be the end of the Empire event. And at the same time, it's going to exacerbate tropical cyclones. So this Carrington-type event, which is predicted for the 23rd of September, will coincide with tropical cyclones driving them landward. And this is a very bold prediction, but, but in 17 days, we'll all be back here 
to see what's happening. So that's quite interesting. I wanted to share this with you all. These are all coming out in August, these papers. Now we do know that the sun controls climate. We do know that the sun also exacerbates tropical storms, geomagnetic storms, and we'll be waiting on September 23rd to see what happens. Will there be a Carrington event? Will we see perturbations to the grid? It's anyone's guess. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Hope you got something out of the video. Please share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. We love you. That's a boom.